Okay, you have found the perfect home and you're ready to put in an offer. You have to remember that this is a legally binding contract, so you need to ensure you know exactly what you are signing. We are gonna go through this contract in depth, but first we need to think about a few things. Price, we need to come up with the purchase price that you want to offer. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna look at recent sales in the neighborhood that are similar to the one that you wanna write on. After we compile all that information, we'll chat about what it is that you want to write on this property. Deposits. Typically, this is 5% of the offer price. Some of us have this in cash, others have it tied up in our current homes, or some of us in investments. It's really important to make sure we think about this early and get it out as it is due when subject is removed. Terms and conditions. Now, this is a big one for a buyer because this is what's going to protect you. Now, typically, we're going to have standard subjects, and those would include finance, inspection, property disclosure statement, insurance quote, and title search. And if you're looking to buy a strata, we're also gonna put in review of strata documents. Now these are standard terms and conditions, but there are also many other things that we can put into the contract that benefit you and work for your best interest. Now typically these last seven to 10 days, but can be longer or can be shorter. Next, it's time to pick your dates. There's three really important days to remember. First, you have completion. This is the day that you pay for your home and the day that your name gets transferred onto title. Second is possession day. This is the day you get access to your home and you can move in. Third is adjustment days. This is the day that you're responsible for your municipal taxes and usually is the same day as possession. Then there's inclusions. Anything in the home that is affixed to the wall stays unless otherwise stated in the contract. Anything that is not must be added to the contract. This typically includes appliances, garage remotes, keys, or curtains. However, this could include anything, pictures, decor, lawnmower, even a hot tub, and anything that you don't want that would normally stay needs to be put in the exclusions. 